Yeah, so totality <laughs> is in 17, 16 minutes. So um, it's going to get darker than it is now. Not darker, you know, here where we are, but the moon itself will be darkened as a result of being totally immersed inside the Earth's sh shadow. So um, we hope that it comes to a clear spot by that time. And the middle of the eclipse is at 537, so we still have a whole hour uh, before it's the middle of this eclipse. It's the, you can't see, it's dark. I mean, I could barely see it. Yeah, it's behind a cloud, behind a cloud right, right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can see the oranging of the moon. There. Uh, right now it's so dark, but the visible eye, I mean, just the naked eye, you could barely um, see it. Well, the clouds are obscuring the the, uh, the image, so, uh, yeah. of course, the eclipse still goes on whether or not there are clouds. Not bigger, but higher. So it's behind a cloud right now, right? Yeah, I think yes. so, because I can't pick yeah. it out yeah, right now at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just a little bit of a cloud, gradually, so. but it's enough. Yeah. I've, I've seen a, a number of eclipses. Some of them have been better. It's just it, it was a shame that there was uh, you know that we ran into a few clouds. So you take what you can get. But it's interesting, and you know, it's just it's just you you try and 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 see a little bit of the cosmos, a little a little bit more than you can see naturally. And besides anything that you can see in the city of Chicago, astronomically speaking, it's a plus. You know, it just we, there's way too much light pollution, and, and the, you have to really go to a you know to a, a a very remote, very distant place before the, you lose a lot of the light effect. And it's when you can see something like this that, that's visible in Chicago. And you don't have to drive, you know, 200 miles to get away from the city. Yeah, I'm gonna come out and see it.